Can you even attempt to sum up what you just saw? Uh, well, I, uh, we spoke yesterday about it. We came here to, with the intention to win the three points. I know sometimes it's difficult because of the situation that we have, but we prepare every game to to go and beat the opponent. That that's what we did today from the very beginning, and uh, we knew the game can navigate in a lot of ways and a lot of scenarios, and we were ready for that. And disappointment because of the two points that we drop at the end, but very proud of the effort and the and the togetherness that uh, the boys put today. Yeah, we know it's just. Uh, Sometimes it can feel a disappointment and it's a disappointment in terms of the result. But I think we need to go out of this stadium with the chest up that we put a good performance and we know what we, what we need to do. We know the solutions every single moment and they show that they want to play and they're going to fight for each other. That's why when we went to our, I told them that going to our fans, they need to show that because the fans were very proud of us. Can you even try to explain from a coach's point of view what the last 10 minutes were like? Well, those, uh, it requests a lot of mental uh, effort from from us, I think when you are playing opponents like uh, Arsenal today, uh, opponents that are playing and fighting for the for the league title, uh, doesn't matter what is the difference. At the end, they always find their way back because they have uh, very good players, they have uh, talented coaches that they can change in one solution to the other. And uh, we have seen no long ago a team dropping here uh, th three points or one point also because they lost. They were leading two 0 and uh, they lost three two, and uh, it it happened. But I think we also show a little bit in the last that we won at, we won at least that point. I know it's a cliche, but does it feel like two points drops given the man of the last 10 minutes? I think it feels like two points drop because I think we we were we stay in our plan, we did what we what we want to do. Uh, and again, it's a, it's a it's a double feeling, the feeling of dropping two points that uh, will help us a lot, uh, but the feeling that uh, we can do it against any opponent. Thank you. Mark. Hi Ruben, um, probably one of the best 45 minutes from a Southampton player this season with Charlie Alcaraz his first half, the goal assist, goal line clearance, also got the yellow card there, was that the reason you took him off, was he looking a bit leggy towards the end there? Yeah, it was not only the, his yellow card, was that uh, Kyle Walker, Peter and Roman Perodi also got the yellow card in the, in the first half and uh, they were creating situations into the space uh, with Saka and Martinelli running deep. So we need, we decided uh, to go with the back five. So one centre back was always supporting that action. Uh, I think we stopped it in that way. And then it was a decision to make with Carlos. And uh, we know Carlos is a very aggressive player on the pressure. And uh, the tend to go down and make the tackle can cost us uh, to play with ten games at the rest of the of the of the game. And it was a hard decision, but uh, need to be made. He scored 25 seconds into the game. Uh, however much you prepare for these big games, you know. Can anything prepare you for that? What did you think when, when he scored? I, I think uh, I think we we just need to continue doing what we have been doing. I think it's too early. You cannot change and you cannot uh, go and drop. You you just need to continue doing what you what you came here uh, to do. And that's what uh, what we did. Of course, the quality of the opponent just push you a little bit uh, lower. Uh, but uh, we tried to be in the game for for the hundred minutes that we play, and the result was the result. But we cannot protect anything from the second twenty eight. I think it is so. We we tried to to keep our identity up and uh, yeah that's what we did. So far under you to have had results from Chelsea, United, Spurs and now Arsenal but it seems to be in the other games against those teams in the bottom half that the fight isn't quite there. How do you make sure now that going into Bournemouth next week you see the same fight, the same desire that you saw tonight against Arsenal? Well I think the desire is there. What we need to find is the solutions in terms of position that will give us the best chance to do it and I think we are getting there. I think the performance that we have in big parts of the games uh, against the bottom, that it was a good performance if you take the last two. Uh, we just need to be more ruthless as we, as we were today in the last third in the finishing action. Because if we have the same uh, behaviour uh, last game or three games ago, we will we will be talking about something different right now. Thanks, Ruben. Thank you. Hi, Dave. I just want to quickly ask about Theo Walcott scored against his former club mm. and actually got a good reception as well from um, the fans when he came off. You must be delighted with his performance. Yeah, of course. Uh, Theo has been a capital player for me since I took the team, uh, and uh, I think he's showing that performance and he's showing how how good he is, uh, how how he managed to have this uh, big team spirit. And then I think uh, it was special for him to pa come back here today, and uh, I'm very proud of the work that he did. Uh, and he's a magnificent, a magnificult player. I don't, I cannot say anything else than than this. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, Ruben, good evening. I um, wanted to ask you first about Jan Bednarek. I mean, he obviously, it seemed like you didn't really want to come off, but obviously the medical staff, I guess, had to make that decision. 
of course, we need to respect the the doctors, and uh, when they see something and it's a it's a head injury that they will evaluate uh, now and tomorrow. Uh, we cannot take any risks with our players. Sometimes they don't understand because Jan is a competitor and he wants to be on the pitch and they want to help the team. Uh, but again, it's like the decision with Carlos. Sometimes you need to make hard decisions and that's what we did. It seemed like even once he came off when he was on the bench, there was a moment where he sprinted out to go talk to Lianco and, and Coletta Sar. That must be the kind, of, the kind of spirit you want from your team where regardless of who's on the pitch, they're all sort of helping each other. Absolutely, and we have this spirit. Some games, uh, if you remember the Chelsea game, that was my first game with you. Also have this, and some of the games that because everybody counts and everybody needs to be involved on that, and that's the team spirit. And uh, it's not uh, one made job; it's for all of us to give the very best. And he was there on the bench after a substitution, trying to get uh, a piece of information for the teammates just to make the team better. That's, that's the spirit. Sometimes, uh, of course, I come with uh, all the players and with all the staff. Sometimes uh, it's difficult because only 11 can play and uh, you have uh, not all of them can be substituted but they need to keep it working in that way because that's the only way that we have to to change the situation and just very lastly for me I mean I think we all feel and I'm sure you feel it as well the players that tonight was a very emotionally exhausting night you know everyone felt a lot of emotions tonight how do you I guess get the players back to a position ahead of Bournemouth where they can take that game as intensely as they took tonight because this is going to take a toll well I think uh, we, we always will talk about habits and our habit is just to review the game tomorrow talk to them have a good recovery have a good day off and then when they come uh, in the third day they we go and prepare the next game and that's what we are going to do uh, they will have the time to for themselves, and then we just go again. It's just uh, it's just about habits and how we work. It's nothing new that uh, we are gonna put now together in the season. It's just about let's go and take uh, the very best from today for the next game. Uh, to be honest with you, I was so focused in my team that I didn't feel uh, that. I know that the last couple of games they dropped points and uh, I know the feeling because I had it before, uh, trying to win titles and then dropping points at the end. It's not the best feeling. But to be honest with you, I cannot uh, answer to you the question because I was so focused in my team and myself and to help my boys that I didn't even feel what was going on. Not for me. That question is not for me. I, I have enough with my situation to think about who is going to be the, the like title. They are two good teams with two big coaches, with a lot of good players, and uh, yeah, it's just for them. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.